Hello, I welcome you all the problem reads are determining the surface area and volume of uh, the solid formed by revolving the shaded area 360 degrees about the z-axis. This problem is coming from an engineering mechanics uh, statics of 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. So the question here is to find surface area and um, volume. Okay, of the solid volume of the solid. All right, there are some formulas that were developed by Pappas, Pappas, and Kidnas, something like this. So this they came up with some formulas, and they are saying surface area can also be um, computed by just considering this line this composite line okay so what do you do so you take the centroid of each line okay then you multiply it by the length of each line then you multiply it by 360 degrees so instead of 360 degrees you convert it to radians you can multiply this by 2 pi okay so this gives us the surface area all right for the volume also it's the same just 2 pi just what changes we'll have a centroid for the area for the volume instead of this area composite area and then okay the pro sum of uh, uh sum of uh, the centroid of each area times area uh, sum of uh, each uh centroid location times area so this gives you the volume of the solid, this gives you the surface area by purpose and goodness. And these are the formulas that you want to use, quite very direct and uh, easy to use. All right. So now let's start with uh, the first one. We are going to come up with some kind of lines here. We want to find the surface area. So we have this first line. Okay. Then we have another second line, this one. And then we have another third line there, like so. Okay, so we have how many lines? Three. So let's call this one R1. Uh, one. Okay, then this one is line two. Line two. Then this one is line three. Okay, let's add some properties. Centroid of each one of these. Um, so this one to just a midpoint which is just that one there like so that's its centroid location right this one is uh, quite easy i mean all of them are quite easy they're all easy they're direct so that's a centroid location and then we have another centroid location for this line here this one there that's the second one okay all right and then we do have the location centroid the location of this line um where should i indicate it okay sorry uh, the centroid location of this line to be somewhere there okay so we have now indicated this like so um right let's label them so we said this one is a ara killed one and we are saying this is equal to uh this is equal to let's write it this is equal to uh, once the length of this line is 1.5 so it's half of 1.5 which is just equal to 0.75 and this one is arachaeod 2 is equal to that's 1.5 right then this one is equal to arachaeod 3 what's the centroid of this line is mid span of one point this length here this length here okay 
and that length is 1.5 right so this is equal to 0.75 all right so with this information quickly we can uh, draw a table here before we do so let's find other extra data we need this information for our calculation so length one l1 is uh, 1.5 uh, l2 is um two and then l3 uh, is um square root of 1.5 plus um two squared okay so this just becomes square root of what so that's uh 1.5 squared plus 2 squared okay then square root of that so this one gives us it's a perfect square right 2.5 okay that is cool great so that's the length we have the lens so let's draw up a table now uh, we can work this out using a table too so there we go how many parts three so we have now we start one two three okay and then for the summation like so so let's go so this one is for the part number this one is for Arakel or centroid location this one is for the length and this one is the product of the length and the centroidal okay um i can also copy this uh of course the other part once we deal with area we only have two so i can copy it so that i don't waste so much time on the other part all right of course the other part has only two parts i'll come and drop what is not wanted so we have part there like this and then we have arakel <coughs> this is the local centroid location of each of the lines and this is in meters and then we have length <coughs> yeah, we have length and this is also in meters and then we have the product of length times that this is in meter square so how many parts one 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 two three then this one i will reserve it as summation so R1, we say it is 0.75, R2 is 1.5, and R3 is 0.752. Okay, the length, length 1 is 1.5, length 2 is 2, length 3 is 2.5. Then the products, let's work them out. 0.75 by 1.5 this we get a 1 a 1.125 okay this one we get a 3 0.75 by 2.5 this one we get a 1.875 all right so 1.5 plus 2 uh, plus 2.5 um this gives us a six okay 1.5 plus 2 plus 2.5 is six 1.125 plus 3 plus 1.875 this one also we get a six not a coincidence 1.125 plus 3 plus 1.875 all right therefore uh surface area okay so we we'll say let sa be equal to surface area okay All right so surface area all right let me just write the whole lot of it there's no loss so surface area I just going to be equal to um, 2 pi uh, summation of arachnoid 
L okay and this is just going to be equal to 2 pi by 6 therefore our surface area is just going to be equal to uh, 6 by 2 by uh, pi okay so this we can just write it as 12 pi like that okay or we can complete it as 37.70 uh, okay like so 70 square meters by 6 by uh, 37.7 so right we are done with the first one uh, let's go to the second one so we have parts here we are just going to divide this into two parts um, we just this one and this one okay all right okay so then I, I will have again here um, the centroid location of uh, each area okay it's in meters and here instead of L I will have area and it is in square meters and then here I will have the product of area and uh, location I mean centroid location parts here they are just two and this is our summation so let me get rid of this part at the bottom uh, so that I just concentrate on the two should I delete I think I can leave it like that so I have two areas um, so I have this one I have this one this is one area and then I have another one which is uh, that one there okay. this one there all right so there we go so let's label this I mean let's define our points of interest so here this is um, maybe let me just remove this I can leave it okay so now let's define um, so this one is area one okay let's call this as area one and this one we call it area two all right so now let's define the points of interest um for this one um the the points of uh, the for this one um redefine this i've made this a bit thicker and then here um like so okay so let's define these particular points all right there we go so this one is our r1 for area of course this is for area and this is a centroid location for this we just half uh, half along this particular axis is half uh, by 1.5 which is just equal to 0 0.75 and then this one it is um, um, as ara let me use blue this ara 2 
KL for area. Okay. Okay, for area. And this one is equal to one third. This is triangular here. This is area. One third for this particular length, which is 1.5. Okay, and this is just equal to 0.5. Right. Then let's work out the area. So area one. Area one is just equal to uh, two by 1.5 and this is equal to 3 right okay so equal to 3 and then area 2 is half this is half this is half by Okay, it's a bit of noise here, sorry. Half by 1.5 by 2. This is just 1.5. Okay, so let's fit this information here. So R1 is just a 0.75. R2 is a 0.5. Area 1 is a 3, the other one is 1.5. Let's work out the products. So 3 by 0.75, we have a 2.25. 0 0.5 by 1.5, that's a 0.75. Okay, plus 2.25, and this gives us a 3. This one gives us a 4. Point. All right, so volume, volume of the solid, volume of the, the solid is just equal to 2 pi, that's 360 degrees in radians, and then summation of arachnoid times area. This is just equal to 2 pi times 3. Therefore, volume of the solid, okay, is equal to 2 by 6, 2 by 3, uh, by that. So this just becomes 18.85 uh, cubic meters. Okay. Right, 18.85. All right. So I guess this is about it. We found the surface area using this particular concept of uh, kidneys and papas, a very interesting concept. And we found also the volume of the solid. All right, so I hope this particular video was helpful. And if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and sharing my channel. Bye-bye, and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.